It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Achimura in at the three. And for the Spurs, inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. Jones and Vassell are the one and the two. And it's Champagne at the three, the small forward. With the regular season winding down, as a player, Smitty, how aware are you of your contract status? Very aware, B.A. For free agents, it's a last chance to impress potential suitors, especially for those guys who won't be going to the playoffs. And it's going to be the Spurs off the tip. And here's Jones. Pass to Wimanyama. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Rui Achimura. He's off on the first. And the second free throw is good. Here's James. Outside Russell. Pass to Achimura. Davis with it. James outside. Six on the shot clock. Three pointer. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. And so it's Wimbanyama with it. He brings it up for the Spurs. Here's Jones. James with the block. And as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. Yama, the pass to Vassell. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Pass to James. Oh, it's blocked by Wimpanyama. Here's Champagne. Here's Sohan. James with the block. That was well-timed. It's hard to out-anticipate LeBron. Back to Reeves. That shot's good. Russell making the play. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now here's Jones. Pass to Wimanyama. Here's Champagne. And it's blocked by Davis. Great swat by Anthony Davis, giving this team energy. And it's Achimura missing. The Spurs have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Here's Champagne. And Davis with the block. <laughs> Just brutal. I mean, five straight misses to begin the game. Here's Reeves. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. 
Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. The shot's good. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Wimanyama against Davis. The shot, no good. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Champagne shot is off. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. Hachimura outside. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Sohan with a rebound. San Antonio leading. Outside Wimbanyama. Can't hit from in close. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They're moving on after a tough loss they took at the hands of the Pacers. One thing we saw from them that game, and we see it around the league, an over-dependency on the three ball. You know, if you're cold from range, there are other ways to score. You can post up, dribble drive, get out in transition. Now a timeout called by San Antonio. The Lakers beat them last time when these two met in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some stats for the last handful of seasons for LeBron James. San Antonio trailing here. Vassell outside. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Sohan. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Well, Sohan has been well coached on attacking the glass. And doing that gets him the follow-up bucket. He shoots. Offensive board. And the basket by Achimura. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. And the Spurs with possession here. They trail by one. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. That was the key message going in. Be efficient. Everyone was on the same page, and you got a chance to see the results. Count it. And how about that? Transition opportunity for Anthony Davis. Has the long strides to eat up ground in a hurry. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Russell deciding where to go with it. Pass to Hachimura. Back to Russell. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by Vassell. Clock at four. Shot is good by Reeves. Reeves has gotten his second bucket. And this is what point guards like Russell are responsible for, setting the table for his guys. Outside Jones. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And he drops the first. 
Yeah, he's a fearless player. I mean, Sohan not afraid to give up his body to give his team a better chance. Both good from the line that time. Not his most comfortable spot on the floor, but Sohan works hard in the gym on his off days at the line. Here's Reeves. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Reeves has got six. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Well, San Antonio's shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. With the floater. The shot by Sohan, no good. The Lakers in the lead. Outside Davis. Pass to Reeves. Oh, there's the alley! Here's Champagny. Hachimura covering. Hachimura with the defensive effort. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. James passes to Russell. The shot's good on the assist by James. You know, the attention LeBron James demands left his teammate open there, and he found him. Vassell right side from deep. Wimbanyama tries to keep it alive. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got five rebounds tonight. Inside. Here's Davis. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. And Wimbanyama has the ball here for the San Antonio Spurs. It's a five-point game. And he gets the bucket. So good at keeping his balance through contact. Sohan showing some poise right there. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. So San Antonio going with almost an entire new group here. Collins, he's checked in for Sohan. Johnson comes in for Champagny. Branham's checked in for Vassell. And Graham subbed in for Jones. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. Prince comes in for LeBron. Reddish is checked in for Achimura. And it's Dinwiddie in for Reeves. Now here's Russell. Not a good performance from him in that loss to Indiana. Out of bounds, it'll be Spurs ball. And it's the 2K leaderboard, the league's most potent offenses since the break. In the third spot, Los Angeles. Since the All-Star break, this squad has been on fire on offense, looking like a well-oiled machine and taking and making high-percentage shots. Graham against Russell. It's Graham on the wing. That's good from Wimbanyama on the assist from Graham. And now just a one-point Los Angeles lead. Now Russell. 
Pass to Hayes. Now Reddish, covered by Johnson. Just five on the clock. Here's Prince. There's the triple. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. When Prince gets it clicking from the perimeter, gets his confidence going, the entire offense benefits. Here's Branham. He's covered by Dinwiddie. They grab their own miss. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. And, yep, it's good. And it's a six-point Los Angeles lead. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Well, the Spurs shooting 28% in this first quarter. Pass to Wimanyama. Now here's Collins. Outside Graham. Outside Johnson. From deep three-point range. Rebound by the Lakers. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Russell against Graham. Russell, that's good. And the Lakers lead by eight. I like Russell's intensity. Getting some contact, but not backing down. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Prince against Wimbanyama. Over Prince. And Wimbanyama gets it to go. Wimbanyama's got nine. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Dinwiddie outside. Hayes against Collins. Outside Russell. Off target with the three. San Antonio's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Collins with it. No points yet. Now here's Wimbanyama. Outside Graham. Spurs need to get one up here. Branham. It's Hayes with the rebound. We've seen him make that shot, but not all that often. It's the kind of shot that gives Hero Ball a bad name and causes your coach to consider another line of work. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Graham on the attack. Wimbanyama scanning the floor. Graham misses. Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense. Prince against Wimbanyama. Back to Prince. From 12 feet. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. 103 left in the first quarter. Pass to Graham. Three pointer. Prince grabs the miss. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Here's Denwitty. Outside Reddish. Takes a three. San Antonio with a rebound. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Collins, left side. Over Hayes. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. Los Angeles has gone one of four from deep. Here's Reddish. And it's blocked by Collins. And here's Johnson. High-level defensive potential for Cam Reddish. He's active and versatile. And add in the length, he can cover a lot of distance. And that does it for the first quarter. Lakers ahead, up by eight.
And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Well, it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt. Great job getting the hands up so far, making life difficult on shooters. Something else that stands out is how they've gotten out in transition. Their speed has kept the defense on their heels. So on the floor for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Then it's Rui Achimura. Then it's Austin Reeves. And it's Christie in at the shooting guard position. Smitty, let me ask you, what do you think has been the most impactful change to the game in recent years? I think it's the three-point shot, B.A., the number of attempts, and also the bigs from the center spot and the power forward. Those guys taking threes has created a lot of space for guys to drive the basketball. Here's Christie. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. Here's Hachimura. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. The first free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. The Spurs shooting only 23% so far. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, B.A. Victor Wembanyama was asked to describe his game, and he said, quote, the word I would say is versatile. Being able to score at any level, any moment in the game, taking responsibilities, maybe Mr. Do Everything. And Brian, will he be the next international phenom to take over the league? He said with a smile, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Plenty of confidence right there. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you for that. Wimbenyama with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Wimbenyama, the pass to Osman. Pass to Jones. Let's it go from 11. Five to shoot. And he gets it back. Good on the 13-footer. Trey Jones will take these mid-range looks if he can't find penetration. So it's the Lakers now. Here's James. Puts it up. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Smitty, part of what makes LeBron James so inspiring is how competitive he is still. B.A., I don't think he'll ever lose that fire in his eyes. But you're right. He's still hungry. Every game, even the little ones, LeBron wants to win just as bad as ever. Sohan's checked in for Victor Wimbanyama. That free throw, good from James. LeBron James has always been a team first guy. He will score it, rebound it, and pass it. Here's Vassell. No points so far. Pass to Osman. 
Let's it go from deep. Drops in the three. Great pass from Devin. He's all about doing what's best for the team. The Lakers shooting efficiently, 50% so far. Here's Reeves. Give him eight. Now Achimura. Shoots over Johnson. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Keldon Johnson. First free throw is good. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Champini, he's checked in for San Antonio. He's off on the second. The Spurs have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Here's Jones. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. I love how under control Jones is. Even when he gets fouled, he stays locked in on the basket. Smitty, one thing you really appreciate about Trey Jones, he runs the offense with efficiency. Yes, B.A., the reason why he has a high basketball IQ and a calmness, and he never makes mistakes. That's good from Jones. Shooting from the line has been one of the most consistent attributes of Trey Jones since entering the league. James, left side. The Lakers with another miss. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Jones, the pass to Sohan. Here's Osman, checked by Davis. Jones from outside. Rebounded by the Lakers. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it. The other allowing itself to be bullied.
Firing up the 2K leaderboard. The NBA's leaders in shooting over the last month. Number one, Los Angeles. This is a team that is simply not missing anything right now, and they are just getting more and more confident in themselves every game. Jones against Tachimura. Now here's Jones. He's guarded closely. High post Davis. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. He owned the glass in that one, too. No one could put a body on him. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Here's Jones. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Pass to Champigny. Here's Osman. Jones with the ball. Six to shoot. Shot from the wing. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. 13 feet out. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Those are the plays Davis is capable of making. Much more confident and stronger than what he was when he came into this league. Smitty, there's been a lot of talk about the parity in the NBA right now. There are a lot of contenders for the title each year. NBA is great for the league. The more teams competing for championships, the better it is for the fans. Wesley, he's checked in for San Antonio. That free throw, good from Davis. The physical gifts Anthony Davis possessed are just undeniable. He was built to cause havoc down low with his long arms and broad build. Here's Osman. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Here's Wesley. Pass to Sohan. Will it go? James with the block. Here's Davis. It's tipped. Here's Sohan. He's got six. Pass to Wesley. On the wing, Vassell. Here's Champagny. Back to Vassell. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Hachimura. Davis down low. And finished off by Davis. That's the hard work you love to see from a star like A.D. Never gave up on the play. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. San Antonio calls timeout. You got to like what Anthony Davis has done in this game. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout.
On defense, the Lakers down low. They still need this. And Vassell with the lay-in. Slick move by Vassell against contact. Managing to work his way inside. The Lakers have gotten 6 of 10 shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Reeves, the pass to Achimura. Now, here is James. Just five to shoot. It's stolen. Back come the Spurs in transition. Here's Wesley. Uses the glass on the layup. Wesley's got his first points of the game. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Pass to Champigny. The three ball. Rebound by the Lakers. Reeves has got four rebounds now. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Yes, it's good. Davis has got seven points for the quarter. It's clear Anthony Davis has confidence in his driving ability. Guard-like quickness toward the rim. Here's Champagny. This one for three. Knocks down the triple. Champagny's got his first three points of the game. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Here's Reeves. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Vassell outside. Pass to Champigny. Here's Sohan. Checked by James. Sohan, the pass to Champigny. Rebound by the Lakers. Here's Davis. The offensive rebound. Here's James. Second shot opportunity. And he can't get that one. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Here's Champigny. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Champigny's got five now. He had great find from Sohan. This is why his guys like playing with him. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Collins, he's checked in for San Antonio. Branham comes in for Vassell. Hayes finds Russell. Pass to Reddish. Collins with the rebound. San Antonio has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Here's Branham. Sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. 
All right, time to check out a handful of point guards who, over the last 10 games, have been lighting it up from deep. D'Angelo Russell is second. I mean, when no other options are available, any one of these guys can just take charge and shoot that three. It is. The ball is in their hands, and these guys feel comfortable stepping back behind that line and knocking it down. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Leading by 12. Pass to Prince. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot on the wing. Rebounded by the Spurs. Out to the right wing. Here's Wesley. Here's Collins. And he banks in the layup. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. You know, injuries cost Zach Collins a couple of seasons of his young career. But, Smitty, the talent is still intriguing. B.A., the 10th pick back in 2017, has a combination of size, shot blocking, and shooting. You don't get that every day. Prince has gotten better at creating his own shot, but the catch-and-shoot game is still his specialty. Here's Branham. He's covered by Dinwiddie. From nine feet out. That went off the back iron and out. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. And he makes it on the layup. And the Lakers lead by 15. The defense kind of opened up for him, and he took full advantage. Spurs shooting just around 41% in the second. Pass to Collins. Here's Champagny. Here's Wesley. Here's Sohan. It's Hayes with the rebound. Hayes has got five rebounds tonight. Dinwiddie outside. And Collins with the big block. To the paint. Here's Sohan. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. A little raw skill-wise, but Sohan has that rare physical traits and a tremendous upside. Russell, the pass to Prince. Outside Reddish. Beyond the arc. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. You could say the Spurs are in development mode. Devin Vassell said there's a lot of potential, a lot of new opportunity. Just got to make sure we're growing each game and maturing. As long as we play together and we play the right way, we will have a chance to win every game. We still got the greatest coach of all time sitting back there. Brian? Yeah, you'll get no argument here. Thanks, Allie. First one falls. A different look for San Antonio. Wimbanyama's checked in for Sohan. Keldon Johnson comes in for Champagny. And it's Jones in for Wesley. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. San Antonio with the ball. They trail by 16. Pass to Wimanyama. And it's good. 
Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Free throw good, Wimbanyama. Los Angeles has gone three of six from deep so far. Russell, the pass to Reddish. Pass to Prince. Launches it. He buries it from three. Prince has got six here in the quarter. Love the unselfishness. Not only can Cam create for himself, he can also create for others. Russell against Jones. Can't cash it in from close range. And a funk this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. From downtown. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And taking a look at this first half. They've just shown better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers out in front by 19 going into the break. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks, I'm here with Coach Popovich, and Pop, I know you're not happy with the first half. They've taken the fight to you thus far. How do you take it back? Yeah, they've been the, the aggressive team. I think we played really soft so far, really pathetic defensive performance. Coach, hopefully more toughness from your team in the second half. Thanks. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. It's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They are dominating the scoring, leading by 19. Kenny, what was your impression? Down in the paint, they're doing everything right. Seeking out high percentage looks. So far, the defense hasn't had any answer for that. And we'll see if those adjustments that the coaches are making at halftime work. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? I know teams love to rely on the three these days, but you got to know when to get away from it. They didn't, at least throughout the first half. Hopefully, they're making the adjustments, but sometimes teams just get stubborn. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Victor Wimbanyama really making a difference here. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And the Lakers with possession here. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. Jones and Vassell are the one and the two. Inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. And it's Collins in a small forward. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. And for the Spurs, they're shooting just 35% from the floor. Here's Sohan. Checked by James. Tries again. He blocks it again. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. 
Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. And Vassell, the bucket on the assist by Collins. Fighting for that bucket. Nice job by Devin. It's Dinwiddie on the wing. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Jones against Dinwiddie. Here's an eight-footer. That one's wide left. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Pass to Wimanyama. Here's Sohan. And here's Jones. Just five on the clock. Now here's Vassell. Pulls up. And he connects with a jumper. Vassell's gotten four this quarter. And here's Dinwiddie. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. And he recovers it. Dinwiddie passes to Prince. Three-pointer off the mark. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Wimanyama, no good. Los Angeles has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Up top, Dinwiddie. 13 points in the game. What a beautiful play, and it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. Jones against Dinwiddie. And Davis with the block. Women Yama, no good. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Here's Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got five assists in the game. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Champinney, he's checked in for Collins. Hachimura's checked in for Los Angeles. D'Angelo Russell comes in for Dinwiddie. The Spurs have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Now here's Vassell. He's got six. Takes one from 10 feet. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The Lakers have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. James finds Russell. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Drops in the layup for two. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Here's Sohan. Checked by James. 
Outside Jones. Pass to Champigny. Shot clock at six. Drives to the hoop. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. And right here, an intimidating group. The leaders in block shots over the past month. In the third spot, Anthony Davis. And during this last month, he made a statement on the defensive end, just swatting away shots left and right. James, outside. And he lobs it up top. Russell, that's good. Russell's got four points now in the quarter. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Now here's Wimbanyama. To stop the run. Oh, Wimbanyama throws it down. <laughs> and B.A., he takes his rebounding so seriously. This dude is such a grinder. His teammates appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. And the Lakers with possession here. After the basket by San Antonio. Here's Reeves. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. And they're pushing it up. Another miss by Wimbanyama. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. And finished off by Davis. Anthony Davis' teammates are looking to get him involved. He is on fire right now. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Vassell outside. Pass to Sohan. Back to Vassell. Over to the wing. Releases from 15. Offensive rebound. Wimbanyama. And he gets it to go. Wimbanyama's got 16 points now. And once you get the height advantage from there, no need to mess around. Right side, Russell. Pass to Achimura. For Mendeep. The bank shot, no good. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Sohan, the pass to Vassell. Pure from three-point range. Vassell's got seven now in this quarter. A tale of two halves. He's really turned it around here, scoring the ball. James passes to Davis. There's another block, making his presence felt on this end. And just holding down the fort, B.A., anchoring the defense. Vassell's shot is good. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? With Vassell out there, there's a lot he brings to the table, Steve. Yeah, he can be... Oh, Whoa, wow. wait a second. And this is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that one. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Now Jones. He's got five. Pass to Sohan. Vassell outside. The deep three. LeBron with the rebound. Los Angeles has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Puts up a deep three. San Antonio with a rebound. Outside Jones. He blocks it again. Oh, you can't throw the weak sauce around him. No, you can't, B.A. I mean, he's sending everything back. Now, here is James. Guarded closely. Kept alive. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Victor Wimanyama. 
The defense is all over LeBron, so he gets physical to ensure he's fouled while shooting. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They are dominating the paint in this one. Consistent work inside throughout the game. Yeah, another thing you notice are all the assists. The ball just has energy, and everyone is getting involved. That free throw misses, and the Spurs with some changes. Osman, he's checked in for Sohan. Johnson comes in for Champagny, and Branham subbed in for Jones. Hayes is checked in for the Lakers. Reddish comes in for Reeves. And he misses the second one as well, so 0 for 2 that time. And Smitty, even as his game has evolved, Keldon Johnson remains a spark plug. You know, he plays with so much energy. He has become more than a downhill scorer. He can hit the jumper off the catch or dribble and keep defenders honest. Here's Osman. Vassell outside. Let's the three fly. Rebound, the Lakers. Hachimura's got seven rebounds in the game. Fires for three. That one's good from James on the assist from Hachimura. James has got 14 points for the game. San Antonio's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Pass to Wimanyama. Here's Osman. Vassell outside. Here's Branham. San Antonio again missing. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. The shot by Russell, no good. The Spurs shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Here's Johnson. Battles through traffic and lays it in. The ferociousness from Johnson able to fight for that bucket. James outside. Pass to Achimura. Over Johnson. And it's Achimura missing. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Here's Branham. Wimanyama up top. Outside Johnson. For three. The Lakers with a rebound. Hayes has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Outside Russell. And then Russell with the dunk. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime-time dunk. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. The Spurs making a switch here. Graham's checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Christie's checked in. Russell, the pass to Hayes. We've got a minute 48 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Russell. Gets it. He's 6 for 10 and looking confident out there. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Pass to Johnson. There's the three. Drains the triple. Johnson's got five now. A solid three-point shooter. Johnson makes the defense pay for giving him life. Well, Smitty is a ball handler. D'Angelo Russell is a pretty complete player offensively. Yes, he is, B.A. He's very smart with the ball, and he knows how to create shots for others and himself.
And the first one at the line is good. He is so talented. There's very little Russell can't do. It's just about the consistency, but the talent is all there. The Spurs making a switch here. Collins checked in. And the Lakers also making a change. Prince is checked in for Achimura. And both free throws good for Russell. San Antonio's gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Here's Branham. Pass to Osman. Outside Johnson. From behind the arc. It's Hayes with the rebound. Hayes has got eight rebounds in the game. Here's Reddish. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. He has six. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Pass to Collins. Here's Osman. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. The shot by Johnson, no good. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 14-5 run to the inside. Prince, the pass to Christie. Russell against Graham. Russell, that's good. Russell's got 12 points here in the second half. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Here's Johnson. That shot off. Nice D from Reddish. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. Lakers ahead, opening up a huge gap. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Jackson Hayes is out there with Harry Giles. Then there's Cam Reddish. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point. Graham, the pass to Wesley. Back to Graham. Clock at six. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Graham's got his first points in this one. Clever play by Devontae Graham. He has the defense wondering what happened with that pick and roll. Here's Denwitty. Pass to Hayes. Here's Denwitty. And another shot. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Their success from mid range has really set them apart today. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Here's Wesley. It's hauled in by Reddish. Reddish has got four rebounds now. And in deciding against lowering the minimum age for the NBA draft, Grant, you think it's fair to 17 and 18-year-olds who want to go pro? You know, B.A., I do think it's fair. I mean, there are other avenues in today's basketball environment where compensation for these guys is possible. You have the overseas route. You have the G League Ignite. And, of course, now colleges have the NIL. So that's huge. And that one misses. Their lead could be even bigger right now. 
but their efficiency from the line has dropped off a little. And he sinks the second. A versatile wing with a good overall skill set. Reddish has a bright future in this league, and I think his peers would agree. Here's Osman. He's defended by Hayes. Wesley, the pass to Mamu Kelishvili. Using his post moves to get the two points. I mean, he's hard to stop once he gets to the rim. That's a beautiful play. Dinwiddie with it. That's his fourth foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. to Giles Dinwiddie right side robbed and that's going to go back the other direction but they played a pretty clean game not many giveaways and the score reflects that oh a clear foul there on the missed shot so he'll get a pair at the line well Grant we've seen some teams double up with superstar players at the same position in recent years Sometimes it works. Yeah, you know, and other times it doesn't work. I mean, it forces a coach to be very creative. When you have multiple players who are used to being the guy, it can be hard to keep everyone happy. That free throw, no good. Mays, he's checked in for the Lakers. He hits the second from the line. Here's Giles. It's hauled in by Mamu Kelishvili. The Spurs have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Here's Graham. Good on the shot. Graham's got four points now in the quarter. Oh boy, Devontae Graham. Had them on skates. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. I think we can say that shot is well within his range. Yeah, let's hope so. The Spurs have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Here's Graham. They get the rebound. Beautiful effort on that tip in. High activity level is part and parcel of his game. Los Angeles has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Hayes, the pass to Christie. And it's been a pretty amazing trend, Steve. Five straight years, the MVP has gone to guys 6, 11 and up. So much for small ball taking over. I love it. The big guy is back in play, and it should be. We have some guards that are extremely talented, but these bigs are playing big, and they have skills like a small guy. Shot clock at five. Here's Graham. Deflected! Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Let's go with a three. Mays with the bucket. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. Graham up top. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Graham, the pass to Osman. Back to Graham. 
shoots over Dinwiddie. Yep, it finally drops after rolling around the rim. The D has to live with that one. I love watching Graham hit those tough shots. Mays, the pass to Christie. No luck on that one. The Spurs have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Here's Wesley. The shot comes out. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Here's Osman. Pass to Wesley. And he drives in. Here's Mamo Kelishvili. Lots of room. The shot no good. Well, Los Angeles shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Here's Christie. Up again. Now that takes serious effort and a light touch. No need to overdo it. Just lightly tip it in. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Sissoko passes to Mamu Kelishvili. To the wing, right side. Pass to Osman. Drilled from 11 feet out. Here's Mays. Defense! 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 Well, Smitty, at 6'8", with your ball handling ability, you were known for your versatility in your playing days. I was, B.A. I was drafted as a point guard, but I'd probably be a power forward in today's NBA. It's positionless basketball nowadays for the NBA. Everybody's skilled to handle and shoot the three. Graham against Dinwiddie. Unloads. Rebounded by the Lakers. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Here's Mays. Tipped. Here's Sissoko. It's deflected. Christie passes to Mays. Shot clock at six. Here's Giles. Pass to Christie. Tries yet again. Good work there as it goes. Here's Wesley. Here's Mamu Kelishvili. Now here's Graham. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Here's Mamu Kelishvili. And it's rejected. And they recover it. Second chance shot. Rebounded by the Lakers. Giles has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Christie. Pass to Dinwiddie. Takes it inside. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. Graham, the pass to Mamu Kelishvili. Here's Sissoko. Here's Mamu Kelishvili. Here's Osman. Champigny. He's checked in for San Antonio. And the Lakers also making a change. Reddish is checked in for Mays. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. Here's Denwitty. It's hauled in by Mamu Kelishvili. 
Mamu Kalashvili's got four rebounds now. Here's Osman. Some solid defense from Hayes. Well, the Lakers shooting the ball at only 35% here in the fourth quarter. Dinwiddie against Graham. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's covered closely. Here's Reddish. Trained it for two points. Getting into a groove. I love watching Cam rise and fire away. And for San Antonio, they're shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Here's Wesley. Banked it in off the glass. Grant, you had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star. But tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, B.A., it's very fascinating. The, the main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams, I do believe ownership groups should involve ex-players and listen to us, you know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately heading. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Here's Osman. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. Collins, he's checked in for Mamu Kelishvili. LeBron, he's checked in for Los Angeles. falls so he hits both of them here's Christie Defense. Defense. and with expansion whispers continuing to grow Smitty if it happens you figure there would have to be some realignment yes BA most likely a team would move to the east presents a chance for the NBA to change the layout of the league might add a division and find ways to cut down on travel First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. A minute 58 left in the fourth. Here's Wesley. It's Hayes with the rebound. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. A minute 39 left to play in the fourth. Pass to Osman. Now Collins fires the three. Counted from distance. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Lakers. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. After coming away with this W, 
This will give them 42 wins on the year. And they end up winning the season series. Always feels good to have that upper hand over an opponent. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Anthony Davis. You know, he was flying around on both ends of the floor. Terrific energy and enthusiasm. And that rubbed off on his teammates. I thought he was a catalyst tonight. Here's Wesley. The three is up. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. He's an asset in helping space the floor. He has tremendous touch from range. Graham against Dinwiddie. To the left wing. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Christie buries it down low. That's an inspired ball club. They fought hard, and during the most important moments, they made big plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Now here's Graham. 11 seconds left in the game, and down it goes. Two points. Good ball movement from Devontae Graham, noticing the wide-open teammate and getting it to him. James, outside. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. I'm here with AD, and tonight you guys seem locked in. What was the key? Well, we came out aggressive defensively and offensively, and against a team like that, you know, you got to come out aggressive defensively first, and I think we did that through the whole 48. Okay, great defense so often leads to great offense, and it worked tonight. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you next time.
Well, here we are, Clark. This is game two of a back-to-back -back for these guys, so should we expect lower energy out there? I certainly am not counting on that. I mean, these guys are in tremendous physical condition. They can handle a quick turnaround. That's part of what they get paid to do. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Hachimura in at the small forward. Here's Champagny, shot clock at five. Shooting foul as the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That one on Davis. Yeah, the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. San Antonio shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. So that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. First one falls for him. Both shots good from a strike. Last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to Indiana. Now, here's James. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. When you think about the Spurs, Greg, it's hard to believe how long Greg Popovich has been at the helm, isn't it? Man, it's hard to imagine another team will have the stability at head coach that the Spurs have had. Not too many coaches last decades anymore. Free throw good, LeBron. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. And both free throws, good for James. And here's Jones. Now the pass to Sohan. Ren Benyama with it. He's guarded by Davis. Here's Champagne. Here's Ren Banyama. He can't get it to go. And so James will bring it up for L.A. Pass to Reeves. Back to James. Second shot opportunity. He gets it in there. Boy, really nice play. LeBron showing real good instincts on the offensive glass there. Vassell with it. Out to the right wing. Here's Sohan. Wembenyama, right side. It's good from long range. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Reeves. To the paint. Here's Davis. And he uses the glass on the layup. This is why you integrate Davis into these sets, because he's terrific at finishing them off. The Spurs have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. It's Jones on the wing. Pass to Sohan. And the rejection by LeBron. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. Russell against Jones. 
Goes up from the top of the key. And, you know, on the defensive end, that's the intensity Russell's coaches want to see more of from him. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Here's Sohan. Here's Champagny. And Davis sends it back. That infinite wingspan of Davis is on full display there. And that one's good. Hachimura. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for LeBron James. And it's Jones with the ball for San Antonio. It's a five-point game. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent and it cost them and you know what guys it just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary they just weren't comfortable on the defensive end now here is Hachimura last time 14 points for him and the shot goes down and now you see them starting to really work the ball inside Jones looking for an opening And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. That one's off. Still out of sync. Lakers leading by seven. Pass to Hachimura. Floats it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Now, Vassell... Hasn't made one yet. Count it. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Here's Reeves. Covered by Vassell. Davis. Win Banyama with the rebound. Spurs trail by seven. Here's Champagny. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Reeves. The pass to Hachimura. Nice move. And it's good on the way up. Hachimura's got six. 
And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Outside, Jones. Over Russell. And it's sent back by Russell. Well, I tell you what, his teammates love seeing this. So do I. I mean, when Russell is able to block a shot, that's a big bonus. Lock at six. Here's Sohan. Here's Reeves. He feeds it to James. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Six points for him. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. As we close in on the start of the playoffs, let's see how the West is stacking up. You take a look at Los Angeles. Winding things down this season, they're in that all-important ninth position within striking distance of a playoff spot. And, of course, San Antonio. Not really any threat right now as their record's showing a lot more losses. And I think for the Lakers, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. You know, it's really hard to figure out exactly what's been missing, but there is something missing. It perhaps could be the system they're playing in. And so it's the Lakers with it after the basket by San Antonio. The rebound by Champagny. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Yeah, Vassell looking comfortable and confident from the corner 14 feet away and the jumper is good James has got eight points and the story here Kevin early on is how well they've shot the basketball very high percentage so far and if you want to start a game hot that's the way to do it here's Sohan he has yet to score it's Vassell on the wing And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on D'Angelo Russell. The Spurs shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. The first one falls, and the Lakers making a change here. Prince has checked in.
And so Jones nails both of them. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Outside, James. Passes it to Davis. A stupendous finish in traffic. Eight points for him. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Jones, the best to Collins. Here's Osman. James covering. Here's Osman. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Outside, Jones. Over Russell. On the basket by Jones. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Six-point lead. And it's Davis finishing it off. Putting those passing skills to work. LeBron, truly a gifted passer. San Antonio's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Outside, Jones. Here's Osman. Dishes it to Johnson. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. What focus. Johnson taking the bump, still getting the hoop. James in the post. Here's Reeves, covered by Vassell. Reeves gets the bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now, here's Johnson. 17 points in his last outing. Collins kicks to Vassell. Shot clock at six. Johnson outside. Puts up a three. Offensive rebound, Spurs. A second chance effort. Back to Collins. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. An emerging part of his game. Johnson's becoming a better playmaker. Here's Reeves, covered by Vassell. Reeves the pass to Russell. LeBron against Vassell. Two points. That one goes. LeBron's got ten points. Already they've piled up eight second chance points. Beasting on those backboards. I love that physicality. Jones the pass to Collins. Here's Osman. Nothing on the board. Good. Now, I'm not shy about bringing it inside. Vassell is comfortable around the hoop. Here's Reeves, covered by Vassell. Reeves gets the bucket. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. And those put-back baskets contributing to their lead. Now here's Jones. There's the drive. No good, shot missing. Good D by LeBron. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contributions. And what an explosive finisher LeBron is, rocking the rim whenever he goes up like that. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Jones against Russell. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And, you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's Jones. It's Vassell on the wing. And Davis sends it back. Here's LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it.
And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Here's Osman. And Davis sends it back. James up top. He's guarded by Johnson. From deep, Prince. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Lakers lead by 16. Davis playing big. Love to see that creating extra scoring opportunities as a result. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Osman. No scoring in this one. Here's Vassell. And they'll get another chance. Johnson dishes to Collins. And that time, also a missed shot. To the inside. Four seconds left. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump fake. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We welcome you back to Noche Latina. Becoming an annual tradition is always here on 2K Sports and always exciting. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Lakers. They're contesting shots and, and have also come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooters. They're also doing a really good job on the offensive boards, bagging their own groceries, doing whatever it takes to get those second chance points. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Then it's Rui Hachimura. Then it's Cameron Reddish. And it's Reeves in at the one. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, of course, these young Spurs are coached by one of the all-time great coaches in Greg Popovich. Kelton Johnson says of Pop, he's around here smiling and excited each and every day. To have him along with us is big. And Popovich gives them confidence. Devin Vassell said, as long as we play together and we play the right way, we'll have a chance to win every game. Kevin? And having you know who helps too, right? Rem Benyama makes things happen. David, thanks. Jackson A's, he's checked in for Davis. So, Clark, here we are, adding tournaments in the Summer League, the in-season, the play-in tournament. The league is creating more elimination-type games in the schedule. Yeah, you know, I think it's been good. Well-received. It's enhanced the games. I think the fans enjoy it. I think the players actually enjoy it, particularly the young players, because they've seen it in other sports leagues. So competing under higher pressure for greater stakes more often, I think overall is a good thing. Here's Hachimura. And the rejection by Rembenyama. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. And that one drops for him. Rembenyama has got seven points. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Los Angeles shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Dinwiddie is checked in for the Lakers.
Spurs trailed by 16. And here is Wesley. Still yet to score. Here's Wimbanyama. Puts up a three. In the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Pass to Reddish. Hachimura with it. Rebound by Sohan. Spurs have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Here's Johnson. Here's Wimbanyama. It's blocked. Now here is Hachimura. He's guarded closely. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And when Pachimura is looking to score, it sometimes forces the D to get aggressive. Love the energy. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Christie's checked in for Austin Reeves. And so he makes both from the line. Spurs trailed by 16. Wesley the pass to Sohan. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Johnson left side. Over Reddish. Here's Wimbanyama. That's good. He's five for nine. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. So the Lakers call timeout their first. Defeated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. And the Spurs making a change here. Champagny's checked in. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Keldon Johnson. Look, sometimes you go up, sometimes down, and, and, and the trend has been on the downward side in terms of his average points per game. And a variety of factors can be the culprit. And a lot of times you focus on the efficiency more than just pure point output. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Hachimura. 
nails the wide open jump shot. And that's 10 point tier for Rui Hachimura. And a solid shooter from mid range. Hachimura with textbook fundamentals. The pass to Champagny. Here's Sohan. To the middle. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. Yeah, really left him no choice there. I mean, he had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. The Spurs have been good at the line so far, five of five. First free throw is good. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. He just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. Absolutely salivates when he attacks the rim. Passes it to Wembanyama. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Wesley. Six to shoot. Here's Champagny. From deep three-point land. Here's Wimbanyama. And Wimbanyama throws it down. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play we'll remember from this game, clearly. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. Hachimura kicks to Dinwiddie. Pass to Christie. Takes a three. Rebound San Antonio. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Here's Branham. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, who doesn't like fast break basketball? They're on the 2K Sports Leaderboard. The real stats, real scores from the real NBA with the teams who have scored the most points in transition this season. The Lakers second. I think that's what really distinguishes them offensively. They really like to get out in transition. That one is off. Devontae Graham's checked in for the Spurs. He hits the second from the line. Now here's Dinwiddie. Scoreless thus far. And there's the pass to Reddish. Back to Dinwiddie. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And they also show up in the top five in assists. A major focus for them sharing the basketball and really keeping everyone involved. And you brought up their ranking in blocks. They commit those big bodies down low, Greg, and don't let any shot go unchallenged inside. Now here's Graham. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Good luck stopping that move by Graham. Tremendous handles from the guard. 
Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Shoots over Graham. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Lakers lead by 14. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Passes it to Branham. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Back to Graham. The rebound by the Lakers. Patchy Murray's got his fifth rebound in this one. The feed now to Dinwiddie. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Here's Branham. It's rebounded by Hayes. Lakers leading by 16. Pass to Reddish. Back to Dinwiddie. Stolen. Inside, here's Branham. Banked in off the glass. Branham's got six points in the quarter. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. Pass to Hachimura. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you can see what makes Hachimura a tough cover. He can beat you with finesse, and also he can bring the hard hat. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And 74%, yeah, you know, so-so. He probably wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit higher. And that one falls for Hachimura. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Anthony Davis is checked in for Hayes. Torian Prince comes in for Reddish. And it's Russell in for Dinwiddie. Hachimura hits them both. Spurs trailed by 16. Vassell with it. He has seven. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Bring him against Russell. Here's Davis. And he gets it back. Goes up again, and it's good on the way in. Davis has got 16. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. It's Vassell on the wing. Defended by Christie. Collins, good. And just feeding the open man. Nice recognition there from Vassell. Russell against Graham. Prince outside. Davis down low. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That is textbook when you're talking to pump fake. Well executed that time by Davis. So good at knowing how to use that shot fake effectively. The Lakers have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Yeah. 
And that one falls for Davis. And you know for a big man Anthony Davis has always been above average at the free throw line. And both free throws good for Davis. And one of the big changes to college basketball, Clark, as you know, the NIL name, image, and likeness. It, it seems like that would impact the choice to enter the NBA draft. I don't think there's any question it's had that impact. Some guys that were borderline draft picks now not being penalized for being on scholarship can monetize their name, image, and likeness and do so to the tune of some fairly significant dollars in some cases. And even if the money is not... NBA large it still can close the gap for a family of a player that might be struggling and could use some additional income you have to like what we're seeing from Davis and he's just attacking the rim with force here they need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket An opportunity here to bring up a list of players that have been carrying their teams offensively for the last 10 games. The highest scoring small forwards in the league. The fourth spot held by Rui Hachimura. I mean, tremendously gifted athletically. I mean, we're used to seeing that at that spot on the floor. And they pretty much all give astonishing individual performances on any given night. Well, we know the small forward spot is where the bulk of the scoring load rests on most teams. I mean... Those players on that list always come through in the scoring department. These guys pack a lot of firepower. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. The drive by Russell. It's good. So much confidence for a young player. Terrific move by Russell in traffic. And so Graham will bring it up for the Spurs. Trailing by 17. It's Vassell on the wing. There's the pass to Osman. Off target with his three. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Victor Wembanyama is drawing admirers far and wide, including some who know their hoops like LeBron James. LeBron says he's for sure a generational talent. Everybody's been a unicorn over the last few years, but he's more like an alien. Nobody has ever seen anyone as tall as he is, but as fluid and as graceful as he is out on the floor. Kevin? Yeah, David, you and I agree he is different. Here's Prince after the basket by San Antonio. Pass to Christie. Six on the shot clock. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Collins with some nice D. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. 